All right. What I want to start with is a sort of a generic question. As you look at all of the stocks in the United American stocks, what kinds of stocks does a strong dollar like this help? What kinds of stocks does it, in theory, hurt? Well, the basic assumption is anybody who sources in dollars and sells in non-dollars, sells in euros, sells in yen, sells in pounds, it's going to get hurt on currency swings. Anybody who sources in euros or yen or pounds or uh, emerging market currencies or even the yuan and then sells in dollars definitely gets a benefit. That's sort of the underlying assumption of how you want to look at the whole stock universe in terms of FX effect. So if I am an American company selling in euros in France. Yeah, uh, you're in trouble. I am in trouble because I am not going to be able to re repatriate right. those euros into as many dollars as a few months ago. Yeah. Correct? Oh, just yeah, massively less. Massively, massively less. less. All right, so right. we've got some individual names that you say will benefit from yeah. uh, a strong dollar, and they are they include LVMH, which is obviously not yeah. a U U.S. based stock, but Apple, and I guess EXPE is that Expedia. Expedia, yeah, yeah. Expedia. Tell yeah. us why those. Uh, so, okay, let's start with LVMH. LVMH, luxury European retailer, we all know it. It has tremendous amount of sourcing in euros, designs in euros, um, also sourcing, I guess, in, in the yuan. It sells, prim you know, it sells in Europe, China, and the U.S. The U.S. market is very strong. This is a com company that's 20% off its highs, but the demand for its product cycle is very robust, and it's really, really almost recession-proof at these levels, simply because the up, upper end of the market really isn't feeling any of the inflationary pressures or any kind of income declines that we're seeing maybe on the lower end of the market. So for, those, for all those reasons, I think it's going to really survive and probably thrive in this environment quite well, while at the same time benefiting from a very, very nice currency uh, play on it to, to its end, currency edge to its end, because it's, a lot of its sourcing is going to be in euros, so that therefore its labor costs will be much cheaper. So I really do like how they mentioned there's also sort of a Upside kicker here, it's gotten very badly hurt because of the COVID lockdowns in China. If you sort of assume, and this is obviously a, a speculative bet, that if President Xi gets reelected for the third term, once that happens and he consolidates his power, the COVID lockdowns may become a lot less um, onerous. That obviously opens up the whole Chinese market and it's kind of like, you know, putting a beach ball underwater. They should really pop on that news. Um, now, Apple, I absolutely love and I think one of the most um, Undertold stories right now. One of the more hidden stories is that dollar China, dollar yuan, is almost at seven. It was 10% uh, more just um, in April. In other words, it's 10% less, 10% um, cheaper for April mm -hmm. for Apple to be paying all of its um, labor suppliers in China. That's a huge, huge tailwind for the company. Not to add, and I know you had just a guest on who was sort of neutral to, to negative on Apple. I'm actually very bullish Apple. The, the cycle is very strong. This whole satellite announcement, I think, is going to make the 14 even a stronger um, desired phone. So I think, you know, Apple has proven to be a very strong, robust uh, stock. If um, all of these uh, right. effects um, have positive effect, it's going to go to a $3 trillion company. Quick thought and finally, on Expedia. Quick yeah, thought sorry, on Expedia, Boris. Quick thought, and then I want uh, Courtney to jump in uh, just generically on stocks to fade. Sure. Expedia, Expedia is basically a, a bet on, on the travel boom out of the United States. You, the, the U.S. travel rush to Europe now with, with uh, the euro under a dollar and pound possibly he heading to parity is really creating huge amount of bookings. They like double, almost, you know, uh, close to triple digit booking increases. And I think that trend stays in place. Gotcha. So they're going to be a huge secular beneficiary from the strong dollar that way.